Today on our 2016 Chevrolet Impala, we're going to be taking a look at the draw tight, custom fit class 2 trailer hitch receiver with an inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter opening, part number 36538. So this is what our draw tight hitch is going to look like when it's all installed. As you can see, it sits just right below the bumper, it's nice and hidden. It's going to sit nice in the bumper so you're not going to see a whole lot coming out at you. And as you can see, the safety chain loops are still very accessible. Now this hitch is going to use a half inch pin. It is a class two hitch, so it has a one and a quarter by one and a quarter opening. It has a gross tongue weight of 300 pounds. That's going to be the weight pushing down on the, the tongue. And it has a 3,500 pound gross trailer weight, which is going to be the amount that it can pull. Now we'll go over some measurements to help you find the best accessory for your hitch, such as a bike rack or cargo carrier. As far as ground clearance, which is going to be from the ground to the top inside edge of the receiver tube, is going to be 11 and a quarter inches. Then from the center of the hitch pin hole to the outermost edge of the bumper is five and a half inches. Now to begin our installation, we're going to be removing the factory M8 bolt, which is found directly right above your exhaust pipe of a different angle, it's right here. Now the head of the bolt is actually towards the rear, so we're going to have to get a ratchet or wrench or whatever you decide to use up in there to get it off. Once that's removed, we're going to be replacing it with a longer MA bolt that is provided in the hardware kit. Now the torque specifications are going to be in the instructions. So we're going to go ahead and torque this side down and then we'll move to the other side and repeat the same process. Now that we have it properly torqued down, we're going to take our flat washer and we're going to place it right over where the weld nut is. And you want to make sure that the weld nut actually goes inside the inner hole of the washer. And we'll go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Next, we're going to take our two inch, half inch bolt, which is gonna be the longer one, and our conical washer, making sure that the teeth are facing up, and we're gonna take, take it and slide it through bracket A of the angled part, and we're gonna take our handle nut, slide it up into this channel right here. You wanna make sure you line up the nut so you can see the threads, and you're just gonna loosely thread the bracket onto the nut, just enough so it grabs. And we'll leave it loose for now. Now, it's always a good idea to get an extra set of hands. We're gonna take our hitch, the rearward section of our hitch, and we're gonna slide it over the M8 bolts that we replaced. We're gonna take our conical washers and making sure that the teeth are going towards the hitch bracket. And then we're going to be taking the provided M8 nuts. We're going to put that onto the bolt. And these are going to be tightened down hand tight for now. And you want to pay attention to that flat washer that we had slipped over the weld nut. And we want to make sure that the position is still held in the center. We're going to take our half inch carriage bolt and we're going to put it in the forward hole towards the front of the vehicle. With an extra set of hands, I'm gonna have him hold the forward section of the hitch, slide it over the bolts, and again, we're gonna take our conical tooth washers with the teeth facing towards the hitch and put them on with our half-inch nuts as well. Now we can install the exact same hardware on our rear location. Next, we're gonna take our half inch by two inch bolt, the longer in the set, put a conical tooth washer going towards our hitch, line up the bracket. Now, on top here, we're gonna take another conical tooth washer with the teeth facing down towards the hitch and thread on our nut.
We'll go back now and snug down all our hardware. With everything snug down, we're gonna come back and we're gonna to torque all the bolts down to the appropriate level, which you can find in the instruction manual. Now back here where the handle nut is, when we're all done, I just like to bend them out of the way, that way there's nothing hanging down, nothing getting in the way of anything. Now as you can see, we have the hitch fully on, and right here you can see where it kind of bows out a little bit. Now, it's not necessary to cut to get the hitch installed and everything to fit in. We just bent down a little bit. Now, if you want, you can cut right here and make a little relief for the hitch so it won't bow out like that. And that'll finish up our installation on the draw tight custom fit class two trailer hitch receiver, part number 36538 on our 2016 Chevy Impala. Click the link below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com.